Chris Bomstead, 2021. Ramon Dino, 2023's Baby Please. This is part of your fan requested Friday lineup. It's your winning video, actually. Get it up to 500 likes. I will do the rest of the requests. A couple of interesting ones there, guys. Horse MD, you got wheels there. Uh, Larry Wheels would be cool. It'd be the first video I've done on him in a while. But anyway, guys, back to this one. You guys wanted to see 2021 Bumstead in 2023. Uh, Ramon Dino, why? Why was he any? Was Bumstead any better this year? Hmm. I think he was. We may take a look at a couple of different versions here, guys. Not all of them, but definitely we will be looking at the uh, 2021 Chris Bumstead, where I do believe he was not as good. Would Ramon Dino? Uh, does he have the capabilities of defeating Bumstead? If Bumstead brings this version, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see next year, maybe. Front double bicep pose. I always like Ramon Dino in this shot, opposed to Chris Bumstead, because he has better arms, I think. The forearms, biceps, triceps, I think the whole arms, the whole package. Plus, he has maybe better wheels in this shot, calves included. Incredible. Was Chris Bumstead, I don't want to call him off, but was he that much smaller or less of an impact in 2021? Well, here's 2023, and I have to say, from the arms to the conditioning, the wheel size itself, I think his legs are a whole lot bigger this year than they were in 2021. And using this version here, I gotta say, I would give it to Ramon Dino. Now, the 2023 Chris Bumstead, I, I still might side with Ramon Dino in this pose. Now, I'm not going to do this with every shot, but here is what Ramon Dino looked like in 2021. He had the shape, he looked good, he had the arms, but he most certainly does not or he did not have the quality, the lines, the detail, the conditioning that he does now. Wow, what improvements. What improvements. Man, oh man, he took fifth. At the Olympia. Here is the front lat spread, a pose where Chris Bumstead, he gets this one. Even if the conditioning is swapped one way or the other, even if Ramon was in better condition slightly, obviously if it's too much, it's going to be to one guy, the more conditioned guy, but much like the front double, the shape, the muscle itself, the arms for Ramon, it's a front lat spread. Look at the lats. And look at the V taper. Chris Bumstead, this is one of the best, one of the finest front lat spreads in the history of bodybuilding, classic or open. Now I will show Chris Bumstead this year. And he looks not only bigger, but he looks better as well. And I'm not saying that he is heavier. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if he is bigger muscled and he is more conditioned, he's still going to be bigger with the, the same weight. So I'm not exactly sure if he was heavier this year than in 2021, but he was either extra on this year or slightly off a couple of years ago. Hard to say. Here is the back shots. And in my opinion, using 2021, we're about tie game between these two dudes. And Ramon Dino's back looks pretty good here. Looks conditioned, he looks big. Chris Bumstead looks slightly off. The lags look small. In the comparison, that is, all due respect, the Canadian champion, the back does not look as deep. The thick lat insertions, not quite as thick as a Ramon Dino. Incredible, incredible. This means that Ramon Dino, he does have the capabilities of defeating a Chris Bumstead if his shields were down. But this year, they were not down. Look at that. Action Jilly Jackson for Chris Bumstead. You guys ever see that movie, Action Jackson? Carl Weathers? Come on, man. It's my big time movie. Wow. Good one. Good one. But anyway, I'm sure Chris Bumstead's seen it. Hair thinning just slightly here for Chris Bumstead. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments section below about his new hairstyle. But we're not talking about the hair. We're talking about the back itself and Bumstead. I can't get over that improvement. And here is... Proof is in the pudding and in the pictures. And I know 
At the end of the day, you have to be there to realize the true condition of these guys. But when it is obvious of how much improvement somebody has made, I mean, come on, guys. The lag size alone. You could fly a jet airplane in between those lags in 2021. Look, you know what I'm saying? Sing, sing. Is that too many subsangs? Oh, uh, well, I've been to Europe, and they uh, that's how they talk over in Europe. And back to the original request. And detail, shape, size of the muscle. Might have missized this pose, but doesn't really matter. I think Ramon Dino has Chris Bumstead's number using uh, using these two versions. Of course, 2022. I wouldn't, or 2023. I wouldn't argue with Bumstead defeating Ramon Dino. But if uh, Bumstead, he brings this, you know, this package to the Olympia next year, he could lose. You know, it'd be cool if Chris Bumstead, he went to the Arnold's Classics to compete in the Open Class. You guys think that's possible? Oh, well, here's an abs and thigh. And yes, sizing can get difficult between these two dudes. Ramon, he crouches down in this shot. But he looks big. He sure looks big. Very big against Chris Bumstead. But as we did see, man, obviously, guys, with pitchers, it's not 100%. Nothing's 100% anyway. It's always margin for error. But I think it's a good chance that Chris Bumstead's lags were down in size in 2021. So having said that, yeah, I think Ramon could have defeated him. And that is it, guys. Keep in mind, just pitchers. Not an official here. Just a fan of the sport or game, if you want to call it game. Pageant? Just a fan giving my opinions. I was never a bodybuilder, never even stepped foot on the stage. I was a pro wrestler for years and years. And let me tell you, I used to try to flex my little bicep, you know, in between taking somebody down with a with a double leg takedown and posing out there in front of people. That takes it out of you. Takes it out of you. So these guys deserve respect to stay flexed the whole time. And you got some people on the couch eating potato chips. Oh, they know how to flex. They're athletes, guys. And they deserve respect, like I said. Hit thumbs up on the video. Chris Bumstead, he could very well lose the title. It is possible. It is possible. Ramon Dino, he is the heir to the throne. Hit thumbs up. Subscribe. Have a nice one, guys.